What's going on guys, your boy Cherry Reacts here, and we are back with another Peaky Blinders. We are here with the season finale of season 3. Yes, we're here. And I'm excited to see this one. Um, You guys have gotten me hyped, to say, <laughs> to say the least. I mean, as I said, man, these, I, I'm just doing these. I'm just doing these, man. I know I don't get... We don't get a lot of love. We don't get a lot of love over here on this channel when it comes on to these reactions. I'm looking at other people's Peaky Blinders reactions, Walking Dead reactions. I'm like, damn, how do these guys get all these views, man? Like, what are they doing that I'm not doing? You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, so I guess people don't like full reactions for TV shows. I guess it's too long for them to watch, you know, or whatever. I've tried to do the highlight thing, and that didn't make a difference really. Um, you know, I can't put this stuff up on YouTube. It's just, it's too much problems, guys. It's just too much. So, um, I'd rather do the full reaction and you get the full experience than, you know, whatever. So for all you guys that have been supporting these videos, man, I really, really do appreciate it. Um, really, really, I really do appreciate it. Um, the few of us over here that are, that are doing our thing. So, um, but it is what it is. So we have Tommy Arthur coming from this castle. Now they know where the safe is and all of this other stuff that they found out while at that party. I wonder if Arthur is actually going to leave. Um, I do have, I have this, this thing in my stomach that's telling me, um, that's, I don't know. I think Arthur might die in this season finale. I don't know why cuz they've been focusing on his character and this is something that I'm that I'm used to when it comes on to to TV shows. It might not happen. Don't get me don't get me wrong. Like I'm hoping it doesn't happen. I'm hoping it doesn't happen, but I just have this this knot in my stomach when it comes on to him. It's just my experience from watching TV shows like um, from a, from a writer's perspective, a lot of times when you see a character being focused on so much during a season of a TV show, when they're not the main character, it usually means that they're probably going to die, um, or high likely they're going to get hurt at least, and that's going to be the cliffhanger going into the next season. It's it's just this nagging feeling that I'm getting about his character. They've really been focusing on his character this season um, more than you know, the previous two seasons, um, he was there, you know what I'm saying? And they've shown his, 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 um, his tribulations that he's going through, um, his, his, um, his journey, you know what I'm saying? Being, you know, addicted to cocaine and, you know what I'm saying? Drinking to be off of cocaine, him meeting a new woman. Now he's about to have a kid. It's just all of these things being bombarded at you and it's and it, and it's like they're telling you this guy is not going to survive and then and, and it's just what i'm feeling i'm hoping and praying it doesn't happen but is he going to tell linda about about what happened i don't think he will um unless linda is that type of woman it'll be like oh you know you're he's not she's not that down to her she wants him out of the life but but at the same time, she's like, oh, give me money so we can leave, right? So um, so they're heading back home and stuff now. So the plan is on to dig the tunnel. They've got the guys to come in and dig the tunnel. Um, so I want to see how this goes down. So I'm going to jump into this reaction, man. Hope you guys stick around and watch the review after. Go watch the reaction. Come back for the review, man. I'll see you there. All right, so we are through season three, man. And I, I have to say, best season so far off the bat. Yo, some serious implications, man. Wow. And as I'm saying, man, I love the the pace. I love the pace in this series, man. You know, they do such a good job. And, I, you know, I know I seem like a broken um, record saying this but it's just it's so true they do such a good job for for six episodes 
they just do such an incredible job of telling a story in six episodes with pacing and that's not easy to do you know it's not easy it's not easy to do and um you know i hate to bring this up but maybe game of thrones season eight could have learned something from peaky blinders you know of telling a story in a short amount of time without um sacrificing storylines and and pacing you get what i mean even though we know this is a still a story going on you know um they're probably maybe for the final season of this show they'll probably go more than six who knows um but it's such a good show you know so in this episode michael got his revenge you know even though that's not what polly wanted i mean it started out with tommy accusing everybody of you know when they took his son and basically he was saying that you know I didn't tell anybody about the egg or where the egg came from. I didn't tell anybody about the lilies or whatever they call it. Um, lilies of the valleys or something like that. They said, um, I didn't tell anybody about it. Only the people in this room. So somebody leaked it. So immediately, you know, at first I was thinking maybe it was one of them or maybe it was the guy that Polly was with. But also, I was, but also, I immediately, when Mecca was like, oh, it might be Solomon's because he's the only other guy outside of the room that knows about the egg. So, it was him, but he didn't know they were going to take Tommy's boy. And hats off to Tom Hardy, man. Hats, hats off to him for, for that scene. That scene was, the one scene he was in was pr probably the best scene in in the episode you know um so they got charlie back the son but they they didn't get the information back to arthur and john quick enough before they could pull the trigger to blow up the train so the the incident still happened so what's going to be the repercussions of that you know somebody has to answer for that i think that's what the deal is about um when it comes on to what happened in the end with um john um john michael polly and and arthur getting arrested like I think that has something to do with it. Because they're going to find out a lot more next season, of course. Um, but this was a very good episode, man. I have to say, it it was a really gripping episode. Grilt, grit. You know, he got the jewels. And as I was saying, man, I, um, I speculated earlier in the season when I was like, this girl, Tatiana, seems like she's working with Tommy for something. It seems like she's helping him with the heist. And, and it was confirmed in this episode, you know, not so dramatically, but, you know, it just confirmed my suspicions of, you know, I remember the scene when they were having sex in the house and, you know, she was going crazy and smashing stuff. And then she went downstairs and, you know what I'm saying? And he was, and then like, I think it was a couple of scenes after that in the same episode that he was like. You know what I'm saying? He went to the map and he was like, oh, so this is what she was talking about. She was giving him hints, but in a very unorthodox way. You know what I'm saying? Like they didn't have any secret meetings or they didn't show any scenes where she was telling him, oh, this is what this is how we're going to do it. Blah, 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 blah. But she was the one that was giving him inside information about what's going on. So. um, But not you know, but very, um, in a way where we as the audience wouldn't really pick up on immediately, you know what I'm saying? So they did a pretty good job of that. Um, so I mean this season, the best season, I think in the series so far, it gets better and better. And that's the thing I love about it. Like, um, it gets better and better. 
um, fortunately, um, Arthur didn't die. It just, it just felt like the way how they were writing his story. But something bad still happened to him. He got arrested um, for blowing up the train. It's, um, I thought he was going to die because, you know, with the whole planning to leave and all of this other stuff, it, it was like, you know what I mean? So that's why I had not, you know what I'm saying, this crazy thought that I felt like he was going to die. Because usually when you see those kind of storylines, it's usually the shock. Oh, he's leaving. You know what I'm saying? He's leaving. He's not going to be on the show anymore. You know what I'm saying? Or he's moving to another city with his wife, getting the money to go and, and stuff. And something happens before he leaves. You get what I'm saying? Um, fortunately, it's just him getting arrested. Um, so that was cool. So, man, he, Tommy went off the deep end. And I think, I think what happened with him, I think, I think that situation has to do with what Alfie said to him. Like, we are who we are, man. So don't you dare tell me I crossed the line. Because this business that we're in, man, nothing, nothing is, nothing is overboard for for these people so you got to understand that that's the game you're playing so don't judge me you know what i'm saying i love that speech that speech really you know let you understand this it, it, it really raised the stakes of the show you know and it i think that's weird the, the perspective he was coming from when he was talking to them at the end um but they didn't get it i mean they didn't really understand where he's coming from because he's like, he's frustrated and now he just want to go balls deep into, you know, he's like, no matter how legitimate we get, these people will never allow us to be one of them. You know what I'm saying? To be in that high of a class because no matter what, we can't change who we are, you know? Um, so no matter how legitimate they get, they will still be like, they will still be treated like, you know, bottom feeders, you know, low class or whatever the situation is. So, and in a, in some ways, that's true. In, in, in my experience, I've experienced that in my life. It no matter how successful I get, no matter how much money I make, people still treat me like I'm just another dude. You know what I'm saying? So, in, in certain space is what I'm saying. So, that's that's just what it is. So it's like, it's in certain areas, it is true. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, sometimes it gets on my nerves, but sometimes I'm like, whatever. It doesn't even matter. As long as I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, um, I'm good. I'm good. So I love that perspective. So this was a pretty dope episode, man, and a great season finale. Um, as I said, man, the pacing was great. This episode was definitely a 10 out of 10. I loved it. Um, Mike, I, I didn't exactly want Michael to kill the priest, but it happened. So hopefully this brings him some sort of peace with that situation. But he's changed because of he killed two people in this episode. Two people, you know what I'm saying? Going from none to two, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, he hesitated. And he cut that priest's throat, man. It's like, oh, that was harsh. <laughs> but anyways, um, I don't feel sorry for the priest at all. He molests little boys. He needs to, he, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't take people that do that, man. They've been doing this stuff for ages, too. I didn't even know until, you know, uh, you know, a few years back. I didn't know priest was doing that stuff, man. That, that's that's nasty, bro. Hopefully they stop doing that, man. It's uh, I don't even want to think about that stuff. Um, anyways, man, um, I, I love the show. We'll be back for season four, of course. So I'm looking forward to it. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction, man. I'm out this piece. I will see you guys for season four. Make sure you leave a comment, leave a like on this video, of course. Hope you guys enjoyed the review, enjoyed the reaction, and I will see you guys for season four. Peace.